Hi, I'm Carmen Shamas. Today I will talk about Thursday the 7th of May. Today there's a full moon in Scorpio at exactly 10.46 um, a.m. Universal Time. Um, this full moon is um, can be very empowering if you are Scorpio, Cancer, if you're also uh, Pisces, it will help you out also if you're Virgo, if you're uh, uh, Capricorn. How is it going to be for all signs? Let's start with Aries. Definitely for Aries, this full moon will empower you if you want to look into some details, some papers, some documents. Maybe you're applying to a company, maybe you're applying for um, a loan, maybe you're applying for an insurance policy. This is something new, something is coming up, something is boiling, it's ready for you to take it. Taurus with the full moon in your opposite sign, most probably you have to deal with a, a, with a partnership issue. Uh, it's a full moon, meaning that this relationship, with, which can be a professional relationship, a emotion, a ro romantic relationship, maybe it's a family relationship, academic relationship, it's coming to completion. It's ready for you to uh to sort it out to look into it evaluate it and make up your mind it can be on the other side um, it can be a bit um, you can be a bit moody it can push some buttons so be extra careful especially if you were born on the 27th 28th of april gemini it's a nice day uh, for you if you know how to keep up your uh, your 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 thoughts you know because it's a full moon it means that uh, something is coming up related to your work or to your health or maybe your daily routine something is uh, uh, is pushing a button here and there and you may need to multitask because it's a full moon it means something is ready for you to uh, to take or maybe to drop aside uh, in a way it can be like um, uh, you have to make up your mind. Um, so be extra careful, especially if you were born on the 19th, 20th of June. Cancer, it's a beautiful day. The whole energy of a full moon is empowering you. It's giving you the chance to actually to, uh, um, to be admired, to be respected, and also to be looked up to. So this is a beautiful day and it fills up it's a full moon in your house of creation of creativity actually um, uh, also in the house of kids family entertainment also achievements it's a very empowering positive day for all cancerians um, as for leo with the full moon in your fourth house probably there is a personal family issue where you need to actually uh, sort out um, a case that has to do with a sibling or maybe with a son or daughter or probably a parent also something related to your house as an as a house um, maybe you're thinking about remodeling something it can be something tiny it can be something big it can be maybe you don't like it or maybe you like your house you want to move you want you want to rent something in the mountains uh, go somewhere else it's just like you want to reinvent something in your personal life and it can be a little bit um, um, tense so today can be a tense day so watch out drive carefully if you were born on the 15th 16th 17th 18th of august and be extra careful if you were born on the 25th 26th of july virgo this full moon will empower you totally physically mentally um emotionally um it uh, challenges you in a way yes but it will bring out the best in you you are so powerful you are so committed and you are a great competitor something a new idea a beautiful idea will come out and you will reach a conclusion this is something beautiful for you it also can be related to work work location or study location you can be quite lucky if you were born on the 30th 31st of august 18th to 21st of September. Libra, Libra, this is a nice day if you want to um, uh, take out from the drawer 
all your uh, checkbooks, all your budget books, everything you want to sort out, everything you want to uh, uh, evaluate. It's like there's a balance sheet and you want to make things right again. In a way, it can be related to some investment related to improving your current position and even your current health position, okay, situation. Scorpio with a full moon in your sign, you are very, um, very powerful, very powerful. You have things coming to completion and it is up to you to decide if you want to move on or not, but definitely you have the power. You have the power to launch a project or actually to stop it. But because it's a full moon, definitely it means that uh, the picture is ready and the, maybe it's a project or something and there's a green light. So things will sort themselves out and definitely you will know what to do. I talked about it yesterday, Wednesday. Uh, so there is no red light. So probably it's time for Scorpio to um, make up his, her mind and make a declaration. It's up to you. You don't have to say it up out publicly, but between you and yourself, it is clear for you. Something new is coming uh, your way. Sagittarius, it's a very slow day because it's a full moon. It is something related to you inside. So maybe you want to rethink certain issues. It's about empowering yourself from inside. And that's why it's like throwing out all the garbage bags and putting them outside, relieving yourself out of all the stuff that is uh, unuseful. It's taking up some room in your life, in your, in, your, in your heart, and it's time to make room for new things to come your way. When there's a new moon in your sign or when there's a full moon um, in Gemini in the coming uh, a few weeks. So I think this is a time for Sagittarians to sit between themselves and and talk to themselves and be at peace with themselves. They need to reconcile with themselves first and to be honest with themselves. This is what it's all about. In the meantime, it's a pause. There's a pause on everything else in your life. Capricorn um this is it's it's like it's time to socialize again with the full moon in the house of uh community and socializing so uh, maybe it's time to rethink the way you handling or you're handling your social life uh, maybe it's time to open up or maybe it's time to close up i don't know it's up to you but because it's a full moon and it's in scorpio i think it's time you wanted to meet somebody or maybe you want to admit someone into your life. This is a very um, beautiful day in your uh, daily life. It will help you, it will support you. So you can expect today some help and support. Uh, Aquarius, this is a tough day. It um, actually, it can be like a double edged knife sword. Um, probably it has to do with a meeting, probably it has to do with um, uh, maybe uh, with, uh, with your career or getting married with your social life. Uh, maybe you're looking uh, for, uh, you're applying to a, an important position and now it's a full moon, moon there. It's like it's a green light. So an answer will come up. It is not necessarily positive but it is not negative necessarily. It's an important day and you may be a little bit tense or moody. So you have to be extra calm and very responsible and professional about it. Drive very carefully if you were born on the 15th, 16th, 17th of February. Pisces, it's a beautiful, engaging day. It's a beautiful day with the full moon in Scorpio. It definitely opens a window to luck and to opportunities. It's up to you to move with it. It's up to you to actually uh, empower yourself and to empower yourself with qualifications and readiness. It's a beautiful day. For Thursday, it's a very positive day. So this is it for Thursday the 7th. I wish you all a great day. Enjoy the full moon. Bye-bye.